ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! Hello everyone, I am OJ Serkinia. At ako naman si Kayan Arceo. And this is K-Check! the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. For nine straight weeks, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Ang una nating contestant ay si Asher Ayeras. He is a first-year college student na mahilig sa Korean dramas and movies. He also enjoys searching for random and obscure but fun facts. Ang ikalawa nating contestant ay si Ryan James Santos. He is a college freshman taking BS Electronics Engineering at Polytechnic University of the Philippines. He likes to spend time viewing old photographs, reading history books, and watching Korean variety shows. Ang susunod nating contestant ay si Luis Daniel Enriquez. He is a graduate of the STEM strand of Malabon National High School. He likes to play cognitive and strategic games like chess and osu. He dislikes being pressured, but he is used to it. And finally, Vince Palanca. He is a former high school basketball player who was too short to go pro, so now he is trying out modeling. Our four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Our first expert is Professor Anriel Tiatko, the chairperson of the Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts, UP Diliman. Then Marian Roque, a professor at the Institute of Mathematics, UP Diliman. And Professor Neil Santillan, the chairperson of the Department of History of UP Diliman. And now contestants. Papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Asher, what team did Michael Jordan lead to six NBA titles? Oh, uh, Los Angeles Lakers. Mali, Chicago Bulls. Ryan, which female singer recorded the 2022 number one hit, Break My Soul? Marega Kari. Mali. Beyonce. Luis, Saba is a state of what Southeast Asian country? Malaysia. Keisha. Vince, which 37-year-old NBA player has won NBA titles with Cleveland, Miami, and the LA Lakers? LeBron. LeBron James. k -check. Okay. Asher, how is the Southeast Asian country Burma known today? Uh, Myanmar. k -check. Ryan, what neighbor of the Philippines is the world's largest archipelago? Indonesia. k -check. Luis, Kobe Bryant won five NBA titles with what team? Los Angeles Lakers. k -check. Vince, Osaka is the largest city outside the capital region of what country? Japan. K check. Asher, which female singer recorded the 2022 number one hit about damn time? Uh, wait. Lizzo. Ryan, nice. Stephen Curry won the NBA championship four times with what team? Golden State Warriors. K check. Luis, which male singer recorded the 2022 number one hit as it was? Harry Styles. K check. Vince, which female singer recorded the 2021 number one hit, Easy On Me? Ariana Grande. Mali, Adele. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan round. That was a fun round, OJ. Let's see, how did they do? Well, that was absolutely fun, but I think I'm interested to know what our panel of experts think of their performances so far. Oh yeah, I think I'd like to start with uh, Professor Neil, our history professor. Because uh, as I heard from you earlier, Asher and Ryan are fond of history and fun facts. Okay, so ramdam ko yung intensity ng apat na contestants. In fact, ito na yung 
one of the best preliminary rounds no sa key check so galing um, kailangan niyo ma-sustain yung momentum hanggang sa paggalingan round then doon naman kay Asher na mahilig sa fan facts at kay Ryan na mahilig sa old photos baka kailangan mag-level up na ang mga tanong natin sa pag-aaral at pagbabasa ay kung bakit at hindi lang simple kailan saan o kaya sino so tulad ko history buff trivia master at nagsisimula tayo sa mga ganitong quiz show so keep up the good work oh, narinig nyo yon ang napakahalagang payo ni Prof Neil yes po and uh, and actually po I agree nga rin po sa sinabi po ni Prof since uh, bilang isang kabataan po I think malaki rin po yung dapat yung papel na ginagampanan namin para mapigilan po yung patuloy na pag-alis ng saysay o pagmamaliit sa saysay na kasaysayan so I think po as a youth, uh, I will also use my influence or my clout para uh, mas mapalawak pa po yung diskurso natin sa kasaysayan. No, dagdag ko lang sa sinabi niya. Uh, kila, bilang pag-asa ng bayan tayo mga kabataan, dapat mas palalimin pa natin yung um, kaalaman natin sa kasaysayan. Dahil sabi nga, um, kung hindi mo kilala yung mahal mo, no, paano mo mamahalin siyang tunay? No, dito naman, yung bayan. Kung hindi mo mahal o hindi mo kilala ang bayan, hindi mo mahal yon na tunay. Ayan po. Wow! Ang galing naman ang ating uh, set of contestants for this round. Nakakatuwa at mukhang malalevel up lalo ang competition. Sa ngayon, nandito ang kanilang scores. We have Asher with 10 points, <laughs> Ryan with 20 points, Luis with 30 points, and Vince with 20 points. Kayo, ilan tanong ang nasagot nyo? At ready na ba kayong lahat para sa ating pabilisan round? Next here on K-Check! K -check. ating karunungan check. Sa kasalukuyan, ito ang ating scores. Asher has 10 points. Ryan has 20 points. Luis has 30 points. And Vince has 20 points. Ano kaya sa tingin ni Sir Andril ang nangyayari ngayon sa ating competition? Oh, OJ. Um, sa tingin ko, ang mga contestants natin ngayon ay fantabulous sila. Ang amazing ng kanilang pagsagot at uh, I, I think it's still anybody's game. May, may tanong lang ako kay Vince kasi narinig ko kanina na ikaw ay dating varsity player. Okay. Oo. Um, ano sa tingin mo ang paghahandang ginagawa mo noon sa varsity na magagamit mo ngayon dito bilang isang contestant na K-Check? Opo. Uh, well, magagamit ko po yung, ano, yung disiplina na na kuha ko all these years sa paglalaro at saka sa pag-training. Tapos, kasi may ADHD po ako, so medyo malikot po ako talaga naturally. So, ginagawa ko yung pag-control, pag-discipline sa sarili ko para hindi magwala ngayon. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Vince. Nako, isa nga yan sa kakailanganin mong strategy dito sa susunod na round kasi ito ang pabilisan round, so importante ang control sa pag-strategize. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. At para sa round na ito, may minus 10 points ang maling sagot. So contestants, kailangan yung mag-strategize. Let's begin! Contestants, question number one. With its governing body having 209 member countries, what is the most popular sport? Oh. Asher? Uh, basketball. Mali. Ryan? Soccer. Soccer? Is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Because its thick atmosphere is full of carbon dioxide, 
which is a greenhouse gas. Vince. Southern. Malo? <laughs> I will read the question okay. again. Because its thick atmosphere is full of carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, what is the hottest planet, Ryan? Venus. Venus, paycheck. Question three. What form of energy is released when atomic nuclei are... Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy. Paycheck. Question four. What do you call the Australian mammal that has a head of a duck and lays a asher? Platypus. Platypus. Paycheck. Question 5. Which 2010 Disney film is based on the Grimm Brothers version of Rapunzel? Asher. Tangled. Tangled? Paycheck. Question 6. Which Filipina won the gold medal at the 1982 Ryan? Idelin Diaz. I will repeat the question. Which Filipina won the gold medal at the 1982 and 1986 Asian Games to be dubbed as Asia's fastest? Luis. Lydia de Vega. Lydia de Vega. KJ. Question 7. What Asian language has the greatest number of native speakers? Ryan. Mandarin. What Asian language has the greatest number of native speakers in the world? Chinese, Mandarin, Kichu. We just passed the halfway mark at question 7. Question 8. Which famous trumpet player also made a name as a singer with Hello Dolly and What a Wonderful World. Asher. Uh, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Keche. Question 9. What two large islands are separated by the San Juanico Strait? Ryan. Summer and Leyte. Summer and Leyte. Keche. Last three questions, contestants. Oh Question 10. What is the name of the United States Secretary of State who arrived? Asher. Anthony Blinken. Anthony Blinken arrived in the Philippines last August 5. Kate oh Last two. Go, go, go. Question 11. Which great silent movie comedian? Asher Charlie Chaplin was known as the Tramp. Charlie Chaplin. Kate. Now, question twelve. Last question of the, Last question of the round. Here we go. In what northern province can you find sand dunes? Ryan. Ilocos Norte. Sand dunes from the towns of Curimao to Pasukin, Ilocos Norte, Keche. And that's it for our second round, the Pabilisan Challenge. That was really an intense round. I've never seen such great round in the past episodes. But I am interested in one contestant, Luis, who stated in his profile that he hates pressure, but is used to it. I wonder what kinds of pressure he had to face in this round. Luis, na pressure ka ba? Uh, super po. Well, as a former STEM student, marami sa yung itatambak, itatambak na gawain, lalo na sa science and math, kasi nga STEM. And napag-isip-isip ko na, imbis na lalabanan mo yung pressure na ibibigay sa'yo, why don't you just give in and just go with the flow? Wow. wow. That's a loaded answer, but I wonder what our professor from the sciences thinks of your answer, Luis. Professor Marian? Pressure, di ba? Kailangan niya. Kasi mukha siyang hindi na pa-pressure talaga. Give in nga and go with the flow. Just like when you're in love, di ba? So, ang tanong ko, may love life ka ba? Uh, yes po, meron. 
Wow! Congratulations! Winner ka! Winner na winner si Luis, Professor Marian. At ang masasabi ko lang dyan ay, sana all. Right? Ngayon naman, tingnan natin ang scores ng ating contestants. Asher has 120 points in total. Ryan has 110 points. Luis has 50 points. And Vince, habol ka. You only have 10 points. Pwede, pwede pang humataw dito sa susunod na round. Hindi natin malalaman pa kung paanong mag -e end ang laban ng ito. Yeah, until we get to our ultimate pagalingan round. And that is up next here on K-Check! Welcome back. Let's revisit the scores. We have Asher in the lead with 120 points, followed closely by Ryan with 110 points. Luis has 50 points. Vince has 10 points. We will find out who will win this show today in our k -Check Ultimate Pagalingan. In this round, correct answers are worth 30 points and wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para lalong ma-pressure ang ating mga contestants oh in this round sa ating mga professors, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang inyong mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's begin! Professor Anriel, your question please. Okay, sige. Uh, makinig kayong mabuti, usapang pagkain. What is this Filipino dish declared as a tangible heritage of the City of Angeles through the City Ordinance Number no. 405? Ay, hindi nakuha. Ito ay mula sa pisngi ng baboy. Hinaluan ito ng atay, sibuyas at kalamansi. Sa Pampanga, ang ibig sabihin nito ay maasim at ito ang sisig. Thank you, Professor Andrel. Dumako naman tayo sa sciences, Professor Marian. Galing Pampanga, dumako naman tayo sa Mount Pinatubo. Okay. Which volcanic rock is said to be the only rock that floats on water? Asher? Pumice. Okay, volcanic rocks are formed by the cooling of molten magma on the surface of the earth. So maraming klase, basalt, rhyolite, pero ang tamang sagot ay pumice. Okay, check! Thank you, Professor Marian. Let's now go to our social science expert, Professor Neil. To which language family does most of the Philippine languages belong? Karamihan ng mga katutubong wika sa Pilipinas ay bahagi ng language family na ito. Kamag-anak natin sa wika ang maraming kultura sa island Southeast Asia. Tamang sagot ay Astronesian or Malayo Polynesian. Let's now go to Arts and Humanities. Professor Anriel, your question please. Okay. Name the law signed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo in 2008, paving the way for the University of the Philippines to be the sole national university. Ito rin ang tinatawag nilang the Act of Strengthening the University of the Philippines as the National University o ang RA9500. It's your turn, Professor Marian. Your question, please. Okay, para sa isang problemang physical, problem in physics, that you can solve mentally, actually. How much velocity must a mass of one kilogram have so that it will have the same momentum as a mass of two kilogram 
traveling at a speed of 5 meters per second. Ryan. 2.5 kilometers per second. Malipo. So just use um, M1 V1 equals M2 V2. So this is just going to be 10 meters per second. Professor Neil, may we have your question this time? What event that happened in 1986 led to the overthrow of the Marcos dictatorship? Ryan. It's a revolution. It's a revolution. Ang kaganapang ito ang nagbigay daan sa pagtatapos ng dalawang dekada ng Rehemeng Marcos. Nagsama-sama ang iba't ibang sektor sa kaganapang ito upang maibalik ang demokrasya sa bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay EDSA 1, People Power, People Power 1, EDSA Revolution, K-Check. Professor Adriel, it's once again your turn. Your okay. question please. Sige, maglakwat siya tayo. Four churches, collectively known as the Baroque Churches in the Philippines, have been inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1993. Give one of the four churches. Vince. Kiapo Church. Mali. Okay, malapit ito sa Quiapo yung isa sa apat. sa Agustin Church, sa Maynila, Pauay Church, sa Ilocos Norte, Santa Maria Church, sa Ilocos Norte din, ah, Ilocos Sur, sorry, at ang Miyagaw Church, sa Iloilo. Professor Marian? Ito, simpleng tanong, pero mathematics. Ha? How do you call a triangle with two equal sides? Asher? Uh, isosceles triangle. I think di ko na kalam explain. K. Thank you, Professor Marian. Professor Neil, your question, please. What was the legal document that made the Philippines as Asia's first democracy in 1899? Ryan. 1898 Constitution. Uh, mayaring paulit nung uh, sagot. 1898 Constitution. 1898 Constitution. Mali. Vince. Treaty of Paris. Mali. So, pinangarap at itinaguyod ng mga dumalo sa kongreso ng malolos noong 1898 ang isang bansang may pamahalaan na naminindigan sa demokrasya at pagpapahalaga sa karapatang pantao. Okay. Ang tamang sagot ay malolos constitution. Bagamat nalagdaan ito noong taong 1898 pero hindi siya tinatawag na 1898 constitution. Pero mas popular siya sa tawag na malolos constitution. So yun Yun yung rason ng tawag sa Asia's first democracy ay Mololos Republic noong Enero 1899. Maraming salamat, Professor Neil. Professor Anriel, your final question, please. Uh, o, oh, kulturang popular at paligsahan ng mga maraming republika. In 1994, the Philippines hosted the Miss Universe pageant the second time around. At the end of the competition, so, Shmita Sen of India won the Miss Universe title. Who represented the Philippines? Pins? Leo Salonga. Male. Nakilala ito noong interview portion. Tinanong kasi siya. Ilang isla meron ng Pilipinas? Ang, ang sagot niya ay high tide ba or low tide? At siya si Charlene Gonzalez. Professor Marian, your final question please. My final question. Sige, konting um, nosebleed. 
Nucleic acids like DNA and RNA are made up of nucleotides that contain a specific nitrogenous base. There are five different nitrogenous bases found in nucleic acids, but which base nitrogenous base is found only in the DNA? Ryan. Uracil. Hmm. Mali. The correct answer. So found in DNA but not in the RNA, the correct answer is thymine. Professor Neil, your question that will conclude this round. So last question, who was the first NPA player to average a triple-double for a season? Big O ang popular na tawag sa kanya. Nangyari ang triple-double bragging rights ni Big O noong 1962. Iconic, legendary si Big O dahil sa iba't ibang rason. 12-time uh, NBA All-Star, 3-time NBA MVP, at NBA Rookie of the Year noong 1961, at nagdala sa Milwaukee Bucks sa uh, NBA Championship noong 1971. Ang tamang sagot ay si Oscar Robertson. Thank you, Professor Andrel, Professor Marian, and Professor Neil. And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Ang galing ng round na yun, no? Ang ating contestants talagang nasustain ang energy levels at sigla sa pag-buzz. Kayan talagang nagpakitang gilas ang ating mga contestants. I am impressed. Super. Winner silang lahat. Pero sino ba talaga ang winner? Well, based sa ating scores, congratulations to Asher, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 180 points. We'll see Asher again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks also to Ryan, Luis, and Vince for joining us today. And of course, always, thank you to our panel of experts, Prof. Anril, Prof. Marian, and Prof. Neil. This is Kaya Narceo. And I am OJ Serkinia. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!